hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Fola in today's video I'll be showing you how to cut and sew a notched collar shirt if this is something you'd like to know more about please stay tuned to the end of this video so we'll be making use of our basic bodice pattern so I have my back pattern here so I'm just going to go through it I'm going to explain to you what I did here so what I have here is my shoulder to the chest line, my shoulder to the waistline, and the top length. So what I have on the chest line is the cut of my bust circumference plus one inch for ease before adding one inch size seam allowance. And on the waistline, what I have there is the cut of the waist circumference plus one inch for ease. Then I added one inch size seam allowance. And on the top length, what I have is the hip circumference, cut out the hip circumference plus one inch of ease. Then I added one inch size seam allowance. I came up by one inch at the side seam and I gave it a curve. I want the hem to be a little bit curvy. So for the neckline, the width here is 3.5 inches and the depth is one inch. You can make use of three inches width for a small size. I'm making this top for a big size. So, and I covered my ham hole. Just your basic bodies. So that is all for the back pattern. So I just labeled my lines. So I'll be adding the necessary allowance to the fabric. When I'm about to cut on fabric, I'll be adding the necessary allowance. So we'll be moving to the front pattern now so all i did was to trace my back pattern on the front so the difference here is that i left few inches about four inches at the center front before tracing out my back pattern and at the top of my paper i left about seven inches then i placed my back on the front and i traced out the same measurements i have there and the neckline for the front pattern is the width is three inches. The width of my front neckline is three inches. So we'll be moving on to the lapel part now. So the first thing we are going to do here is to measure your break points. So I want my break points to be the chest line. So all I did was to come out by one inch on the chest line. Your break point is depending on how much cleavage you want to show. So it can come up or come down below your chest line depending on how much cleavage you want to show so i'm going all i'm going to do is to measure the one inch downward and i'm going to connect that with a straight ruler just like that so that will be my button allowance so the next thing i did was to come out by 2.5 inches at the neckline so this one is for my lapel. This is depending on how wide you want your lapel to be. So I came out by 2.5 inches for mine. So I'm going to connect that to the break point. Just like that. So the next thing I'll do now is to connect the width of my neckline to the break point like this. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to measure what I have on my back neckline so i'm going to measure around my back neckline so i have four inches on my back neckline so all i'm going to do is to place that on my front pattern so i'm going to place the four inches like that making sure i follow that line the line on my neck width i'm going to place my tape measure on the four inch mark there I'm going to extend that by four inches. I'm sorry my camera is not viewing that, but I hope you can understand. I'll make sure I extend that line by four inches. I'm sorry my camera is not viewing that part. All I did there was to come out by half inch there. Then I connect it back to the neckline. If you want the neckline to sit perfectly well on your neckline. So I came out by half inch. 
I came backward by half inch and I connected it back to the neck width. So this is the point where I came out by half inch and I connected it back to the neckline. I hope you understand. To know how wide you want your collar to be, all I did was to place my ruler in a slanted form, like an angle 90, like that. Then I rule a slanted line, like that. So I'm going to mark the width of my collar on that line. So the width of my collar here is 3.5 inches. This is depending on you, on how wide you want yours to be. You can make use of 3 inches or 4 inches, depending on how wide you want yours to be. So I came back to the lapel area and I came in by one inch like that. I came in by one inch. Then from that point, I came off by one inches. I'm going to mark one inch upward like that. Then I'm going to connect that point back to that line. Like you see me doing, just connect it like that. So that point there is our notched point. So all I'm going to do now is to connect. I'm going to connect that like that with my curve. I'm going to connect that with a slight curve. So that is all that will be all for my front pattern so i'm going to cut out now just follow the process it's a really easy tutorial just follow the process and you're going to get it at once so you're going to cut out your collar like that So that is how it's going to be. That's the notch point there. So I'm going to cut out the sides now. So that is all. That will be all for the drafting process. So I'll go ahead to cut on fabric. So this is it. I've gone ahead to cut my pattern on fabric and I added the necessary allowance. I added half inch allowance to the center front. I added half inch to the neckline, shoulder line and on the armhole. And I added my hemming allowance as well. I had to change my side seam to half inch because I didn't have much fabric. So I added, I changed my sewing allowance to half inch. And that was all, all I did there. So on the back, my center back here is on fold. My center back is on fold. And I added half inch allowance to the neckline, to the shoulder line and to the armhole. I added half inch to the neckline, shoulder line, armhole. And I added my hemming allowance as well. And for my collar, so my collar was cut on fold and I added half inch allowance round the collar. And that is it. And I cut two pieces of fabric for my collar. One will be serving as the lining and the other will be serving as the main fabric. So that will be her. So the next thing I did was to cut a facing for my front pattern. So what I did was to measure on, on the shoulder line. I divided the shoulder line by two and I marked that. Then on the chest line, I came in by two inches. After my button allowance line, I came in by two inches and I connected that to the shoulder line. And on the hem line as well, I came in by two inches and I connected that with the straight ruler. And I traced it to a new paper. I traced what I have there. 
I traced it to, with a new paper like that. Another way you can do this is to cut this out. After you are done cutting your main bodies, you can as well just cut out the facing part and use it to cut your facing. But all I did was to trace my out and I used it to cut out a facing. I cut two pieces for my facing and I added interfacing to the wrong side of my facing. So I'll start joining my pieces together now. So I'm going to remove my pattern from my fabric. So I'm working on the front pattern first. I'm going to open them up. So I'm going to place my facing right side of my facing facing the right side of my fabric like this then i'm going to stitch that with my half inch like that i'll stitch that with my half inch allowance so this is it i've gonna add to stitch that and what i did there was to notch that point and I hang on it flat so it can lay flat. I notched it and I hang on it. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to join them by the shoulders. I'm going to place my front fabric on the back. I'll place them right side facing each other and I'll go ahead to join them by the shoulders. With my half inch allowance, I'll go ahead to join them by the shoulders. So this is it after I was done joining the shoulders. So I'll be working on the collar part now. What I'll do here is to notch this part here. As you can see, I'm going to notch that point. I added interfacing to one of the collar. One of it will be serving as the lining. And the other will be serving as the main fabric so i opened my collar i open it up so i'm going to sew i'm going to start my sewing from one side of the notched part like that and then i'm going to sew round till i get to the other end of the notched part so this is it after i was done sewing so i notched it round I notched it with my scissors and I turned it to the right side and I gave it a good press so it can lay flat. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to notch the middle points of my neckline. So I'm going to notch the midpoint of my back neckline. I'm going to notch that like that. What I did was to measure around the back neckline. So I have about 8.5 inches there. So that's 4.25 on both sides of the notched points like that. So I'm going to do the same thing to the collar. I'll get the midpoint of my collar and I'll mark 4.25 on both sides of the midpoints. I hope you understand. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to place the notch points to notch points like that. So I'm going to pin the collar to the top. The right side of the collar is on the wrong side of my fabric like that on the back neckline like that. So I'm going to stitch that with my half inch. I'm going to stop on the 4.2 inches mark. I will sew from the midpoint till i get to the tip of the neckline there so i'm gonna have to sew that so that is it the next thing i'll do is to flip it to the right side like that and i'm going to cover up i'm going to close it up like that. i'm going to cover the rough edge like that so i'm going to fold it in like that to cover the rough edges so I'll be closing it up with my half inch seam allowance there that is left on the collar. I'm just going to close up the rough edges like that. 
on the back neckline so i've gone ahead to stitch that as you can see you can see how neat it's looking so the next thing i'm going to do now is to so the next thing i'm going to do now is to bring the remaining parts of my collar the part that was not stitched down i'm going to put it in between i'm going to put it inside my lapel in between the fabric and the lining just pay a little attention to what i'm doing here i'm just going to sandwich this the remaining part of my collar in between the fabric and the facing just that place is a little bit tricky but it's understandable you're just going to sandwich the remaining part of the collar in between the fabric and the facing like this you're just going to place that like that you're going to hold it down with your pin just going to pin that down so i want you to get a better understanding with this all i did was to place the remaining parts of my collar in between the facing and the lining of the lapel like that i just brought it inside the facing and the fabric so i'm going to pin that down i'm going to hold that down with my pin so i'm going to pin that down like that till i get to the end of the lapel So I'm just going to stitch that with my half inch allowance, like that. I'll stitch it with my half inch allowance. I'll do that to the second side as well. I've pinned the second side as well, and I'm going to stitch it up with my half inch seam allowance. So this is it after I was done stitching. I went ahead to turn it to the right side, and I gave it a good press, as you can see that is the that is our notched points that's a notch point there you can see how neat everything is looking like so our button and button will be starting from the break points here from that point We'll be fixing our buttons and button all there so the next thing i'm going to do now is to join the sides of our top so i went ahead to turn it to the wrong side right side facing each other now so i'm going to be stitching my side seam like that and i'll aim the down parts of the top as well and that will be all so the last thing you're going to do is to fix the sleeve of your choice. I don't want this tutorial to be very long. That is why I won't be showing you how, my, how I cut my long sleeve. It's just a normal long sleeve pattern. You can make use of a short sleeve or a long sleeve. So I'll just fix the... I'm just going to fix my sleeve to the hand mole of my top and that will be all. I have a video on how to cut your basic long sleeve pattern i'm going to drop the link in the description box below so you can check it out so i'm going to fix that to my top and that will be all so we have come to the end of this tutorial i hope you found this video helpful please do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and you can leave a comment in the comment section if there is a part you don't understand. Thank you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.